Hi guys and welcome back to ASX Market Watch. Today I'm just looking at the top 200 on the Australian market, the ASX top 200, just to get a really good idea and a really in-depth look at exactly where we're heading in January 2010 and um, potentially where we might be heading uh, over the rest of 2010 because uh, quite frankly um, we're coming to a bit of a crunch point and I just want to show you exactly um, where that crunch point is, why it's happening and what we can expect to do with it over the next couple of weeks and couple of months. So thanks so much for joining me and like it's really good to have you here. It's um, great to have you here and learning and interested in the stock market because I know it's a bit of a passion of mine. It's something that I really love doing and so let's get started. Top 200 ASX shares. This is the chart. It's a daily chart and Anyone who has watched any of my other uh, videos, I always start with one of the most simple tools that probably your son or daughter could easily draw, no matter how old they are, the simple trend line. Now, the, the trend line we've got is an uptrend line. This is our most solid uptrend line that we can buy. Why is that? Because, that, that we can use, sorry. Why is that? Because nothing has yet breached it. So we've got higher peaks and higher troughs. We've got a nice, beautiful point of, uh, where it's touched it there, and it's then bounced off it again in December 2009, and it's broken out of this little continuation pattern, but I'll talk about that in a second. Um, and just as usual, the downtrend line that was crossed in July 2009, a very simple tool for determining this bull run that we've had over the last six months, which has been fantastic. A lot of people have made some sweet gains, and I mean, more gains than most people would make in a year, has actually been made in the last six months, looking at maybe 20 to 30 percent in possibility. So, where are we at at the moment? Well, this is our little continuation pattern, which has occurred over October to December 2009. Now, it broke out of that in December 2009, and what usually occurs when it when price does break out of a continuation pattern, like this little triangle pattern here it usually heads further upwards. So if the market was heading up, it will continue heading up after breaking out of that pattern. But there is one caveat that we have to uh, mention and that's happening at the moment, and that is, the f uh, well, see this level here. It's at 5,000. 5,000 is a, a, it's an extremely round number. Obviously, um, 5,000, usually if you go in blocks of round numbers, like 4,000, 4,500 would usually be a, a level where people would start to get jittery or the market might reverse. Um, but 5,000 is a, because it's basically half of 10,000 and it's a 1,000 number, so it's a round number at 1,000. This is a level where people really will start to look to sell. I don't know why, it's, it's a bit of a psychological thing. Um, for some reason, investors, and maybe they don't even know that they're doing it themselves, but people do get jittery around round numbers. So, well, I'd, again, so I wish I could tell you why, but I can't. It just happens that way. But you can still use it in your trading. Now, the second reason for f the 5,000 level is if anyone has studied retracements um, or extensions, so basically how to predict where price might go in the future. I don't usually use this stuff in my trading myself. And um, I mean, you may not or you may swear by it. It doesn't really matter. But in this instance, um, price is definitely finding resistance at the 50% retracement level of our entire bear market from 2007 to 2009. So... Gann, um, W.D. Gann, he was a trader um, in the early 1900s, probably, uh, he was probably the most publicized trader and a lot of people swear by his methods today, even though he's not around anymore. Now, he said that the 50% retracement level was one of the strongest resistance or support levels that you could ever use in your trading. And basically, the market is at that level right now. Not only that, but this is the other crazy thing. Um, 4,000, I'm not sure if you can see this, I hope you can, but uh, see this little level here, 4,969 is the exact 50% retracement level. Now, let's see exactly where the market went to, um, 4,958. So we're talking within 10 points here, 10 points the market has reached to, um, to within 10 points of the 50% retracement level, and now it is starting to reverse. So, 
where are we going to get our signal for entry or exit? Well, I mean, if you're not long stocks at the moment, so if you haven't bought stocks, which I am currently in stocks at the moment, I've just got my stop losses in, so I know that if anything goes bad, then I am protected. And I hope that you are trading that way as well, just to protect your, your profits. Um, however, if you haven't bought or if you're looking to buy recently, uh, it would be prudent to wait until um, price passes the 5,000 level, because... Um, this could be the catalyst for the next bear market. I'm not saying that it will be, but I'm just saying that it is going to be a really big resistance point. It's going to be hard to get over. It's like a really steep cliff, and um, investors are really trying to climb it, but they're having a lot of trouble, as you would. And now, on the other side of the coin, on the bull market side of the coin, we've got our trusty upward trend line, which has proven us to be like, which has proven to be great support in the past. So. Basically, we've got our little, um, this is our crossroads, if you will. So the market is heading either to go past 5,000 or it'll come down and cross our uptrend line and cross the previous trough at 4,600. Now, I know that's basically a 10% difference and the market could be in between there for a while, but that will give you like solid entry rules. You know, I don't really want to say... Um, a place that's close to the market at the moment because then you might get whipsawed in and out. You might get an entry signal and get stopped out, get an exit signal and get stopped out. I hope that makes sense. Um, you can Google whipsaws um, if you're not sure what they are, but basically it means that you get stopped out more than you get to ride your positions, which is what we want as traders. We want to be able to ride our positions. So 5,000 for up or 4,600 for down. Um, look out either for the next solid bull run or the solid bear market, um, which is, uh, I think, what we'll see over 2010. And this is our little crossroads of exactly what to expect, um, but depending on what the market does out of this little crossroads right here. So thank you again for stopping by. I hope I haven't rambled on too much. I know I do get excited about this stuff, and I do love talking about it. So if you feel the need, drop by the website at asxmarketwatch.com. It's a fantastic website. There's a whole bunch of free tools. There's a free course, and it explains the method of how I personally um, buy and sell stocks and you know position my money and, um, and manage my money and my risk as well. Um, it's, it's a good way to help you lose less and gain more, hopefully, in the stock market. See you next week. Bye now.